Let's paint a sea turtle. All right, everybody, how are all my happy painters today? I hope you're doing great. I'm doing good, because we're gonna get to paint today. I decided that we would do a happy little sea turtle hanging out in the ocean. So let me go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. There it is. Looks like he's got a little friend over here. We're gonna paint the water, and the sun coming through, and then we're gonna paint our two happy little turtles. I think they're having a good time swimming in the ocean. It's summertime where I'm at right now and it's really hot. Swimming in the ocean sounds like fun. I like swimming. So let's get started. Let's talk about the colors we're gonna use first. I have on my palette some pretty basic colors. I have black, white, yellow, blue, and red. You can paint just about anything you want with those colors. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're gonna paint our water. I'm gonna take the biggest brush I have. Your brush might be a little bit different, and that's okay. Whatever brush does the job is the one you need to use. I'm gonna rinse it off, because I don't know how long it's been since I used it. Give it a little pat dry on my towel. And what I'm first gonna do is I'm gonna take some blue, just a little bit, we don't need to do a lot because we can keep mixing as we go. And I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to it. I don't wanna add very much because I don't want this to be really green. I just want it to kind of have the color of the ocean, which is a little bit green, but mostly blue. Now what I'll do is if I need more as I'm working, I'll just make a little bit more. And it's okay if it changes a little bit each time. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start out with that color I just mixed. Let's move this over here just a little bit. And I'm going to start by just creating some blotches of color. And I'm just mixing a little bit more as I go so we get some variation. Variation is really good when we paint the ocean. And I don't want to get too far away from where I'm working because what I want to do is add a little bit of white to this and I just kind of muddle it all together. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to overmix and just end up with one solid color. We want lots of little different variations of color and shades and tones. Well, look, that's a little bit more green. I can just add a little bit more blue. Whatever you do is pretty much right. And I'm just going to keep muddling this around. And muddling means just kind of scribbling and blotching it all together. And we're basically going to cover almost our whole canvas I'm gonna show you real quick. I kinda of wanna leave an area right about like that that I'm gonna leave without paint. Now one thing when we look at our finished painting we'll notice is that the corners are a little bit darker. And we'll come back and do that once we get the rest of this covered. So just keep working. How many of you have seen a sea turtle before? I've seen them in Hawaii, it's really neat. They like to roll right up on the beach and hang out and take a nap. I don't blame them, they swing a lot, swim a long ways and so they need to take their naps. Sometimes I'm adding just a little bit of pure blue and whenever I grab some white for my brush, whenever I, they call that loading the brush up, whenever I load my brush up with some white, I'm making sure I'm getting it from the very edge of my little puddle of white because I want to make sure that I'm not getting blue all over in that white. Because we're going to need pure white in a little bit. So 
So let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and take some of our color and blot it in. That's a little bit more green. That's okay. Sometimes the ocean has more algae in it, which is a kind of plant that grows. It's kind of like a kind of plant. It's an interesting little thing. But that's what makes the water green. And sometimes more of it grows than others. I'm gonna go ahead and run my brush out of paint around our little circle. And then I'm just gonna take some white and just let some of this white fill in our circle. This is kind of where our sun glow is gonna be. All this is just really messy right now. So if you feel like, wow, I'm being really messy, that's okay, that's what's fun about painting. Sometimes we get to be kind of messy because all we're doing is giving ourselves a background that we're gonna paint on. A little bit more of my blue out here. And what we wanna make sure we're doing is that we're ending up covering our whole canvas. I'll be back in a little bit. Just keep working and working and working. I'm gonna grab a little sip of some water. Gotta stay hydrated on these hot days. A little bit more blue. A Little bit more yellow mixed in there. Whatever you do is right as long as you like it. And if you don't like it, change it. Okay, so there, we've got the whole canvas covered with paint, and that's okay. I've got some little spots up here I can see, if you've got those. Now you might wanna go ahead and paint the sides of your canvas. I don't do that very often, but if you wanna do that, you can. There we go, it's all covered. That's pretty messy, that's kinda of what we want. Now I wanna add some darker shadows in these corners. And the way to do that is I'm gonna take that same color we've been mixing. Let me just bring my palette up so you can see it. There it is, right here. A Little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. Don't need very much yellow. But I'm gonna add just the tiniest little dot. See how little paint I have on there? I'm just gonna add a little tiny bit of that into my mix, and I can tell my brush is getting sticky. That means it needs to be rinsed. Let's add just a little bit more red. So we're almost make, making a dark purple color. Boom, there it is. Ooh, that got ugly. Mostly blue and red. There we go. That's the color we want, really. Pretty dark, you could do this with a little bit of black if you wanted. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start in these corners. And I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna pretend that maybe there's a little wiggle of water moving right through here. It's all just scribbling really. I got a little bit more red in it this time and that's okay. I think that looks pretty neat. Maybe a little bit more color up here. And you don't need to do very much of this. In fact, you don't want to. Because if you do too much, what it does, it takes away from the dark turtle. Maybe we should have called this painting the dark turtle. Nah, I think sea turtle's good enough. 
Come on. Baby turtles are pretty cool. All right. So that's that. That's kind of our base that we're going to paint on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm going to rinse my brush really well. So I use this cup and I rinse it. I really push the bristles down against the bottom. And I wipe most of that off. And then I dry it off on my towel. And what we're going to do next is we're actually going to put our sun in. And this area is probably pretty dry. If you need to take some time and dry it by um, using a hair dryer, go ahead. If you want to just set it aside and take a little break, give it about 10 or 15 minutes. Maybe you might need to have a parent figure out, help you figure out how long that time is. Um, but just wait a few minutes for that to dry. You can pause the video and come back anytime you want. But don't wait too long because I don't want you to forget about finishing your painting. It's important to finish it. So I'm going to get a little tiny bit of white on my brush, and I don't want very much. I'll show you on my... There, that's all I've got. And I'm going to start right in the middle here. And rather than doing brush strokes, I'm going to just kind of blot. And blotting means to kind of touch and push. Touch and push, touch and swirl even. <sighs> Looks like I've got a little bit of dry paint from the paint cap. Ha! <laughs> that's kind of funny. I'll just blow that out of the way. Get out of here. You don't belong here. All right. And I don't want to paint a really solid circle because we're seeing the water filter, I mean the sun filtered through the sun. Uh, eh, let me say that again. I don't want to paint a perfect circle because I'm, we're seeing the sun filtered through the water. In fact, you can kind of just tap, 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 tap. Now, one thing I like to do is I want to make this look like there's some sun rays actually cutting through the water surface. In order to do that, I'm just going to take my brush with a little tiny bit of white, almost none, and I'm just going to start. Just tapping, coming away from the middle of my little circle. You can turn your brush a little bit now and again. Again, we're still just using this big brush. But one of the things I think is really important when we do this is that we make sure that we're not going all the way out on all of these. Maybe some of them are a little shorter. Maybe there's a little spot that's picking up right here, right there. But it's always starting right in the center of this kind of basically circular shape that we created. Don't want to use very much paint at all, but I always start in the middle. And just tap, tap, tap. And if you want to make it look like they're not just really fine lines, what you can do is very lightly add some extra little thickness to them so they kind of get a little bit skinnier as they get away. It's almost like we're painting like a distorted sun because it's exactly what we're looking at. We're looking at the sun, looking up. We're underneath the water, looking up at the sky through the water. So that's kind of the look we get, we end up with. All right, so I feel like I want to darken up this bottom corner and this top corner just a little bit more. And to do that, I'm going to mix up just a dark purple using about equal parts red and blue. 
if you're going to go a little bit one way or the other, I'd recommend going a little bit more blue than red. So I'm just going to start and do kind of the same thing that we did there. But what I want to do is once I kind of get a little bit of that painted on, I'm going to wipe my brush off and just kind of start softly tapping along the edge of these little spots that we just painted in. And I got a little bit of paint that lifted right there, but that's okay. It just kind of looks like there's a little bit of extra sun shining through or something like that. Let me do a little bit more up here. Sometimes if you don't wait long enough, oh, I had a little drip of water from my brush right there and you can see it just lifted the paint right off, but that's okay, it looks like a bubble now. Yeah, that's good. But I really try to make sure that I take the edges of all these shapes that we're brushing in and make them soft, except for these little bit of white, they can be a little bit more intense. We might come back, in fact, we're going to, but we're gonna wait until our turtle's done and we're gonna add a little bit more bright white right in there. But guess what? It's time to paint our first turtle. And what we're gonna use is we're gonna switch brushes now and you can use your smallest brush. Oh, let me throw it. You can use your smallest brush if you want to. That works maybe pretty good to kind of start drawing the shapes we're gonna draw or you can use your medium brush if you feel a little bit more comfortable. And I'm gonna show you with the smallest brush first and then uh, we can use the medium brush to fill it in. So I'm gonna take my smallest brush and I'm gonna rinse it off. And we have three basically really simple shapes that we're going to draw with our paintbrush to create our tur turtle. Now the first shape is kind of like the shape of a leaf. That's the turtle's body. So I'm going to start off with some black paint. I want his body to be right about here. So I'm going to start by creating a leaf shape. So a leaf shape is kind of almost like a, a raindrop shape where it's more round up here and it kind of tapers down. Some people might call this an almond. That, that word works just as well. Now for his head, I'm gonna paint kind of a stretched out circle called an ellipse or an oval, just like that. Now for his fins, we're gonna do a couple more leaves. Now this one is gonna kind of go up and then bend back, leaf, like that. This one's gonna kind of do the same thing. I wanna kind of make sure I get to about the same spot on the other side. Just like so. And these back ones are just small leaves. They don't have bends in them at all. There's my bigger turtle. Now we can do the exact same thing and make a little smaller turtle over here. So let's do that. He's, they're swimming together. They're like, cuckoo, cachoo, let's head on down to Australia. There's my leaf shape. Now I kind of got a little bit pointier right there, but that's okay because when I make my adjustment by making the head, there's the head. Oh, crush, you did it. Now this one is far enough away that we don't really see a lot of the shape of the fins. So they can really be pretty simple. Now turtles have a little tiny tail. So I'm just gonna create a little triangle. Just like that. My brush is a little tiny bit wet. This one's maybe just a, oof. 
I had too much water on my brush. Let's clean that up. All I'm gonna do is say, take a, if you get too much water on your, on your canvas, what you can do, that's really easy. Take a clean corner of your towel and just touch it. There, that'll lift that right up. All right. So what happens sometimes is when you rinse your brush, if you don't dry it all the way up here, the water will drip down and finally find its way down to your canvas. So let's put his little tail on right there. Perfect. This guy could be a little bit fatter. I'm just going to make a little adjustment there. A little fatter. That works. Now I'm going to recommend a little bit bigger paintbrush for filling them in. So I've got this nice medium sized brush, which is just the right size. And I'm just going to use this and fill my turtles in. Now you can paint as many turtles as you want. You could paint a family of three if you want, or four or five, or you could do just one. If you wanna add other types of fish, you can. I know in the past when we've taught sea turtle paintings in our studio, we've had some kids add sharks. Those are fun. I like this medium sized brush because I can make little adjustments if I need to. Just gonna fill them both in. So I'm almost done with this painting and what I want to do next is I want to add just a little bit more white over in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse that brush and clean it, the one that we were just using. You can hear me rinse, click, 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 clickety, clackety, click. I'm going to give that a really good rinse and make sure that there's no black paint left on it at all. So I'm going to make sure it's, you can see I'm drying it on my paper towel right here and I'm giving it really nice, clean. So there's nothing left. And I'm just gonna take some white paint now and I'm going to blot. Blot in a kind of circle here. I don't wanna draw it and fill it in. I want it to be blotchy and uneven. Again, we're looking at the sun filtered through the water. So there's surface up there that's making it a little bit distorted. If you want to do some extra little rays that are a little bit bolder, you can, like we did before, you can. You can also add some little extra little blotches here where there's just some extra little things happening in the water that cause the water, the sunlight to reflect a little bit brighter. Just be careful because we just painted that turtle in and it might be really easy to accidentally nudge some of the black with your brush and have it decide to come in places it doesn't belong on this painting. So there it is. I'm going to finish my painting off 
with my signature. And my signature is just my initials. So let's get my smallest brush, a little bit of white. And I'm just gonna put it right down here. There's my P and my S at the same time. Whoop. There you have it, there's our sea turtle. I hope you had a great time painting. I love sea turtles. I love everything about the ocean. I hope you do too. I love everything about nature. I hope you do too. Till we paint again, see you later.